hi guys and welcome to Microsoft Access tutorial of student database management system there was a problem with the rendering of this video yesterday unfortunately but someone pointed that out to me and this is his uh, feedback here I'm very grateful to this guy so I'm um, now uploading the rest of the video sorry about that very error that was a technical error from my own system here so I'm going to upload that now you go straight to the properties if you don't have your properties open that is a right up here or you can always press alt enter that is it alt enter that's the shortcut okay so select the properties inside the properties you go to events and the event we need is on click the click event click on this three dot and just select code builder click on that now we're in there now so right in here the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to create an array so let's say dim unit array i want to make that about 10 comma and now the next one is going to be unit total so both of them will be uh, the data type will be as integer there we go now for the very first one i'm going to enter as follows let's say if score one equals that or score one to then 100 greater than 100 then the score should automatically become zero so that our calculation will be accurate the equals zero yeah close that so i'm going to repeat the same thing for the other text box oh that should have been all There we go. So this one will be two because I have eight of those. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There, repeat the same thing for this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one there oh this one should be score one two three four five six seven and eight that is it all taken care of there now each of these i'm now going to assign them to their own various units so the very first one is going to be score number one equals this array so the very first array is unit zero equals score one let's convert it to an integer that should be an int int score one come on there we go that's the very first one so I'm gonna copy that and just and this is array number two three four five six and seven so that makes eight so this one should be eight seven six five four three two and one that is correct there we go now I'm going to now store everything inside unit total. So to add it all up, we say unit total equals unit number one. That is array number one at zero. Then we have the, the others. So we say plus. So that will be one there. 
okay this is one we have two here we have three four five six and seven so I've just added up everything in here and store it right in here okay we might as well just put it in there in the bracket there now we don't want to assign everything straight into total score and do that total underscore score that will be equals int that will be unit total grab that and paste that in here there we go everything is stored now let's validate whatever the result might be so we now want to decide who is first class and so on okay so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here now press enter and this let's use the if statement if unit this very one let's get rid of this first before an error again to prevent an error again if unit is greater than and equals to 700 then maybe we should put let's put that in a, in a, in a bracket then and I want my ranking as a ranking that will be equals first class there that is my very first condition taken care of so I'm going to grab this so that we can use else if to take care of the rest that should be in a quote copy copy it properly come right down here the next one is going to be else if else if if it's 600 that would be second class upper 2 i i that's second no second class i 1 i second class upper there we go if it's 500 plus 500 and above that would be second class lower and that is how you write second class lower second class upper and if it's 400 that would be third class yeah third class is four this is five and if it's three hundred that will be certificate of higher education C O H E and um, finally if it's less than three hundred if it's less than three hundred then where is here if it's less than 300 then every other thing will be a fail all right I would then need to do is to come right down here and just say and if and if and that is it so finally we need to add date we say result underscore date that is the name of the date that to be equals format date okay that is that taken care of and that's all there is to it so we now need have a good look at the lines of code we just need to run this program and see how that works all right this is for the calculation come right down here there there and there okay so this is for the combo box and 
let's save that go straight here and I'm gonna collapse all of these and right click and select form and I'm gonna just move that up so we enter some student details in here already I've already selected something here okay and this one should be let's say it's games and it happens to be idea this one should be zero zero and zero here as well the subjects here enter the score in there enter score here as well and so on yeah that's fine games 3d modeling software testing there we go right so let's come in here and just enter student details in there and the name of this student we can call it uh, let's go for John Johnson address 17 lower avenue and in here is mail date of birth 12 10 mobile number jj at gmail.com and guidance details that says the dad in lower avenue as well and dad's all name is johnson and it says jack johnson mobile number you grab all of these paste that there there that's that's number and that email is jack at there and this guy happens to be home student it's not an overseas student it's not in accommodation exchange no scholarship that would be no as well all right so in here now we now need to add up the results click on results there we go second class there and that's all there is to it guys so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now bye for now